now. Good evening, I'm Nicholas Pollock. And I'm Lauren Colbert. Thanks for watching KX News. A nationwide issue is now hitting close to home as people in the area are reporting their identities have been stolen to collect unemployment money. And Iani reports in tonight's top story. This has been an ongoing issue since April of last year. Sarah Arntzen from Job Service of North Dakota tells us they've seen an increase in fraud since federal pandemic programs have come into play. She also tells us they haven't found any faults in their system. We have not seen any evidence of our own uh, system being um, hacked or corrupted. Job Service has several safeguards in place to prevent this from happening, but it's not a perfect system. We do send out letters to employers and we really count on the employers um, to read that mail and to respond to it. That's one way that we can use to fight fraud, but um, obviously there are some gaps there. And officials say they know there's been a data breach. They just don't know where. Information like social security numbers, dates of birth, etc., have always been available to criminals through data breaches from many different sources. And that information is available for purchase on the dark web or other sources. Daryl Emmel, who had over $8,000 taken out in his name, says he's unhappy with how his claim is being handled by job service. I've been waiting for three months for my first call back from a supervisor, uh, two months from the second call back, uh, just no cooperation. And if they would call back and answer our questions, uh, you no, know, everybody would be a, a little more settled as to what is actually going on. Emil says he's been trying to file a legitimate unemployment claim for himself, but is unable to receive anything. We uh, flag any account that we think might possibly be fraud, and those accounts get frozen until they can get investigated. Job Service of North Dakota has yet to tell us how many people have called with identity theft and fraud claims, but they have confirmed it's a serious problem. Emil tells us he's now planning his next steps. I think we need to go to our legislators in our district, call them to have them investigate. Uh, personally, I am trying to get an appointment with somebody in the governor's office. For KX News, I'm Andy Ani. The Attorney General's Office and Job Service of North Dakota say law enforcement is currently investigating the issue. Now to our COVID-19 North Dakota